What happened? Where'd the monster go? Oh. Oh, no. The restoration of the station by the lake was in full swing. Workmen and engines alike bustled around, delivering supplies, clearing trees and branches from the line, and making repairs to the station and surrounding buildings. A landslide had caused a great deal of damage to the nearby viaduct, as poor Henry found out. It had been a long and hard day's work for Stepney the Bluebell Engine. After working with Toby and Mavis at the quarry, he had agreed to take a night special of rocks and stones to the building site near the new station. Stepney arrived on time and made the delivery of rock and stone for the workmen. Then he set off for home. That's when the trouble began. The fog came down. Mavis was right. Suddenly everything does look spooky. Ooh, I agree. Maybe we should go back to the station by the lake. We can wait there until morning. It doesn't look like this fog is clearing up anytime soon. Good idea, agreed Stepney. So they stopped at the next signal box and began to reverse down the line. It wasn't long before they made it back to the station. When they arrived, it was eerily quiet. All of the workmen had left for the day, and everything was still. We're going home now, Stepney, his driver said when they arrived. But we'll come back for you in the morning. This made Stepney nervous, but he said nothing as his crew walked towards the station. They turned on the station lights and set off for home. Stepney was now all alone. He looked around. Everything was still. Oh, I hope I fall asleep soon. There isn't much to see around here, even without the fog. But as time passed, every shape and every shadow kept Stepney wide awake. He began to feel more and more uneasy. Hours went by, and still, Stepney could not fall asleep. Oh, I don't know why I can't fall asleep. <sighs> I just feel like someone's watching me. Ah! Ah! What was that? Oh, look! Stepney spooked! What's wrong, Stepney? Huh? Where did you come from? Ah, I've been here the whole time, you silly engine! I didn't see you earlier. Never you mind about that. What you should be asking yourself is why you can't fall asleep. Stepney paused and pondered for a moment. I don't know. I mean... It is a bit scary here. Huh? And why is that? Well, look around. Everything looks spooky in the fog. Hey, hey, come on. Is that really why you're so nervous, Stepney? Well, the last time I was all alone like this was, well, in the scrap yards before Rusty found me. Maybe... Maybe that's why I'm so nervous? Because I'm remembering that night? Ah! Bouncing buffers! Where'd he go? What was that? Whew. Oh, it's just an owl. That's a relief. Hello there. <laughs> Look at me, talking to animals. I really am going crazy. Why, hello there, Stepney. Ah! Y y you can talk? B but how? Animals can't talk, can they? <laughs> and since when could engines talk? 
No, I, I never thought of it like that. Maybe you just weren't listening. I've seen you before, Stepney. When you last visited this island, you're a very <clears throat> excitable engine, aren't you? Well, if by excitable you mean eager to work, of course. No, no. I mean overexcited. Too much excitement for your own good. You never stop moving. Well, I. Because we both know what happens if you stop moving, don't we, Stepney? Well, I once heard that if I stopped moving, I would never be able to work again. And what does that mean? It means that maybe I don't really care about being useful. Maybe I. Just care about myself. Ha 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 ha! Selfish, selfish. That's what you are, Stephanie, the selfish engine. Ha oh, yeah, ha ha ha. Yeah, maybe you should stop moving once in a while. Then you'd see how foolish you really are. He's right, you know. You are a very foolish engine, indeed. What? No, no, I am not. Come back here. Ugh, what's happening to me? You always say you wish you had a bigger line to run on, but you never did anything to help yourself. <laughs> yeah, you wanted another engine to solve your problems. You belong in the scrapyards. Yeah, Oliver escaped from scrap. You had to be rescued. Selfish, greedy. You only care about yourself. Useless. Yeah. Maybe if you just stop moving for one second, and maybe you'd see just what an awful engine you really are. No. No. Stop. Stop this, please. Lazy. Useless. Greedy. Lazy. Overactive. Greedy. Please, please, leave me alone! Your wish will come true, Stepney. One day, you'll be all alone. No one truly cares about you. You deserve to be left in that scrapyard, Stepney. Bluebells are not forever. Straight.